Well, hi guys. It's Sunday, December the 15th. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 4.30, something like that. And I just got done with the cradle. And getting it back on the tractor. I decided not to use the bolts that was in it. I bought eight new grade eight bolts. Now from Tractor Supply from Rural King. And I got them all in there snugged up but one. And that's that one. And I cannot get it past this, no matter what I do. So tomorrow, I believe, I'll be making a trip to McHenry's and see what the trick is of getting this bolt out back in. Uh, it was a son of a gun to get out. I've got, a, got one that's a half inch shorter. I can put in it if I can figure out how to get it past that rod or if there's an easy trick to this rod then I'll pull it out and you know I'll put the regular size bolt in it. Uh, I see a spring pin right there but I can't tell if there's another one up here. Now, if it's as simple as driving that spring pin out pulling it out and getting it in, I'll put the long bolt in it. I won't worry about it. But I'm going to tell you something. Wrestling that big mother, and it weighs about 100 pounds or more, getting it up on this and getting the top bolt started in each side by yourself is a real trick. Uh... My back is talking to me right now, telling me, Hey, idiot, what'd you do this for? But it's back on there. Uh, we're supposed to get some, well, nasty weather moving in tonight, this at, late this afternoon and evening. Could get up to about three inches of snow, and then it turned to rain tomorrow. So it's going to be a nasty mess. So, it may be a good day to work on the uh, hanger that goes down here that's bent in both way on both sides. But, kind of the reason I decided not to use these bolts again was because of, yeah, that one. You can see marks in it where that plate rubbed it. So I decided not to use these. And these are, that one's ungraded. No grade on the head. That's a grade 5. That's a 5. Or no, yeah, grade 5. Grade 5, Grade 5, and that one's not marked either, I don't believe. Yeah, that's a 5. But then I'll put them in my bolt collection to use on holes like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because they had these steps, they drilled these steps out to fit these holes, which is fine and dandy, but if you ever wanted to lower this step back down, you can't do it because the holes are wallered out. And they're both, both sides are like that. Because the steps on the cab came here, you know, right in here, so they put this over there to make it easier to put fuel in. Uh, kind of a, oh well, <laughs> we'll get to it somehow. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
Oh, I feel like I've done good this weekend getting that cradle fixed and back on. Uh, I may tomorrow or Tuesday uh, be going to look at a set of tires for the back end of this. Um, I've got a set that I could put on the front of this but I'm thinking it might be a waste of time because it's setting level now these BF Goodrich and old I forget what that is Goodyear's tires like this the super torque or traction torques and the BF Goodrich tires were known to be a little bit shorter than other brands. The tires I'm looking at are Armstrong and I guarantee you they're taller than this. And if the tractor is sitting level with the front wheels dished out, if you dish them in, it'll drop the front end down. And if you put larger tires, you know, a tire that's another make that's taller on the back, it may um, sit like this, lopsided, low to the front. Uh, I won't know proof positive until if I get that set of tires and get them put on. Uh, these are loaded. So those, that'll have to get pumped out. And as really bad as I dislike the idea of doing it, I may uh, both the back rims may have to have a little bit of work done to them. I don't know. Won't know that until we get the tires off and I get a good look at them. Uh, if it is, uh, I'll deal with it. Um, if they're pretty clean, we'll, you know, just clean that area up around the valve stem, uh, shoot it with some primer or whatever, and mount them back up. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But the work continues on the 1850. Uh, like I said, it's starting to look a lot better. I have fuel filters, oil filters, transmission filter, hydropower filter, air filter. Um, going through the oils, we'll be changing them, uh, but not right now. It's too cold. It's outside. I really got to get in the barn and see if I can make room to get this in. Uh, also got to get into the brake on this side, see what the deal is there. And by looking at that actuator, I would just about say it just needs to be adjusted. Yeah. The difference there and then you walk over here and <laughs> I believe it needs just to be adjusted. I could be wrong, but I won't know till I get into it. At any rate, guys, we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And like I say, the 1850 is starting to look better. One thing at a time, and one day at a time. And I'll get it there. Uh, Bertha's not happy. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Well, hi, guys. It's December the 16th, 
and as you can see we got snow last night uh, three and a half to four inches uh, it's turned to rain and tonight it's supposed to get below freezing and turn back to snow and get some frozen precipitation with it freezing rain and sleet and I don't know what all um, but I did find out today what I'm going to have to do the 1850 to get that last bolt in I got to drive that pin out and move that lever just enough to get that bolt in and then put it back and put the pin back in so kind of what I was thinking I was going to have to do but didn't know for sure but I do now so I know what I got to do and that's half the battle but I just kind of wanted to throw this on the end because well uh, they were saying we could get snow yesterday we did so <laughs> this is going to be it's going to get interesting um, what if what happens happens tonight and I just could get real ugly but we'll find out tomorrow but 1850 is on the mend I uh, know what I got to do to it so and as they say knowing is half the battle but she's going to be ready to go uh, as soon as well when the time comes she'll be ready to go I should say uh, weed is not looking bad all things considered so they're saying this weekend today is two Monday uh, they said this weekend we should be back up in the mid 40s but the wheat's not looking too bad there is an awful lot of water standing just like this and the snow is kind of slowing things down from moving and this weed is slowing things down from moving I got a palm down through here right now which ain't gonna help the weed any but can't do anything about it so I guess we'll see you next time guys and as always Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, when she dries back up, well, not dries back up, when it warms back up this weekend, I'll be hitting it hard. We'll see you next time, guys.